why is it that for how important the announcement bar and menu bars are that every customer sees, there isn't much talk about optimizing them. They're always on the top of the page and you can use them to direct customers where you want them to go. Well, today we're going to look at them and we'll explore the features so you can customize your store's announcements bars and menu bars by making them sticky, adjusting their size, changing colors, and more. So let's take a look. So we can look at a couple of examples here. So first we have Allo Yoga and then we have True Classic Tees. With True Classic Tees, you can see this bright red announcement bar uh, and both the announcement bar and the menu bar are sticky, right? So as I'm scrolling down, you can see that it stays on the top of the page. Whereas with Allo Yoga, when I scroll down, you can see that their announcement bar isn't sticky, but the menu bar is. Um, and they have a little bit more of a subdued color at the top. And so that's the brand choice that they've made. Um, we can also check to see what it looks like on mobile view. And you can see here when I scroll down, it's the same thing, right? So the, the announcement bar goes away, but you have that menu bar that stays there. Um, and then for True Classic Tees, uh, they have also um, kept the same approach where the announcement bar and the menu bar stay on the page at all times. Um, and this way, customers can easily go and navigate through your store, um, regardless of whatever page that they're already on. So if we now hop over to our demo store, if I scroll down, nothing happens, right? It's those, uh, those announcement bars and menu bars kind of stay at the top. And so right now I'm just using the default Dawn uh, theme settings, right? So nothing's been colored, nothing really has been added. And we're going to begin to add some of those customizations that we're seeing in uh, on Allo Yoga or True Classic Tees into our demo store here. So um, the first thing we would want to do is actually pay attention to what's even um, in the navigation bar itself, right? So right now I just have some very basic links and uh, you can update that if you go to online store, navigation, and then your main menu. And then so you can add or remove certain menu items. Um, so this is going to be highly dependent on your store and what you sell and how you organize your products and your pages. So we're not going to talk too much about that, uh, but it's, it's a very simple thing to start organizing. You can just add menu items here. Um, you can even... Uh, uh, let's just put a uh, home page. So you can even put things as subcategories. Let's add another item here. Let's try refreshing again. Okay, there we go. So now we have two uh, additional menu items underneath uh, this this main primary menu item. Okay, so let's just remove those. All right, so now we can hop into our theme editor. So in our theme editor, uh, you can just sort of click the announcement bar at the top and it will give you these settings here. And so the first thing we can do is we can change the color. So I can, I'm can i just gonna change it to a red, right? So that's nice and bright, uh, pops out, uh, and customers are definitely gonna see that. If you don't have these color options here, you can actually create them. So if you go to your theme settings, right here, um, open up the colors menu, then you can add different color schemes um, that that you like so that it fits your brand colors. Okay, so if we come back to our announcement bar, we can now uh, just work our way down. So show icons on desktop. So you can actually show all of these social media icons. So if we come back to our theme settings uh, and social media. So there's this area here where you can add all your social media links. Um, then you can come to here, um, check that box, and it will have these really quick access buttons for your customers to just quickly go to your social media pages. So that can be really handy uh, if, you're, if you have some social media pages that are important to your brand. Um, and we can also create auto-rotate our announcements. So right now here, we have just a single announcement here, but we can add one. So we could just say, um, 
this one can be uh, free shipping um, after $50. So now what we can do is we can come back here and auto rotate the messages. And so this, if I just, uh, let's make this a little bit shorter so we don't have to wait as long and then we can refresh. And what we'll see is that after three seconds, it's going to go to the next message. There we go. Okay. And so it'll just kind of go back and forth between the two messages if uh, you decide to auto rotate your announcements. All right. So let's move on. So next, we can look at some of these settings here, right? So um, we can go to the custom CSS area. And this is where we can update our uh, whether or not the announcement bar will be sticky. So you can notice here there's no settings here for making it sticky. Um, but if but we can do this with CSS. So what you can do is just copy and paste this little code here, right? So announcement bar section position sticky top zero, and we can just save that. And now, if I refresh, we'll scroll down. Uh, maybe we we'll go to a different page so that it's got a little bit more. Uh, length to it. So here we go. We can see that this the uh, announcement bar stays sticky at the top. OK, so let's move on to our menu bar. So we can just click the menu bar here, and we can see the options here. right? And so you have uh, different options. You can do a drop down. You can do a mega menu drawer. So uh, we can take a quick look at what some of these look like. Um, so let's look at the mega menu. And it's going to look very similar. Um, I think if we added add back our uh, sub menu items, so let's just add a couple menu items back. We can put it under catalog. We can even uh, <laughs> add a couple of sub sub menus. And uh, okay, so let's see what that will look like in our mega menu. There we go. So now you can see these categories, right? So test and test four are the are the sub menus right here. Test and test four, and then under test you have test two and test three. So that's what these ones are here. So that's what the mega menu looks like. And then if we come and look at the drawer, let's refresh. So now it's a, it's a drawer that's kind of comes out on the side. And so this can look good for, uh, for mobile. And so we can actually, um, the menu will typically be optimized already for mobile. And it says that right here. So if we actually come to mobile, it's typically going to be a drawer. If we select the mega menu, um, I believe it's going to just typically just stay as drawer. Um, so this option is more for desktop. Um, in fact, it actually says it right here, desktop menu type. Um, so that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty cool way to add a quick little customization to your um, to your navigation, especially if, if you have a really large product catalog. This can be a really helpful way to help your customers understand what products you have on offer and quickly get to them. Let's move on. So next, we can add uh, whether or not your um, header is sticky. So on scroll up, right? So that's what's happening right now. So if we scroll down and then we come back up here. Maybe I should remove the sticky announcement bar. So I'm just going to take this code out. 
and come back here. And so let's play with let's play with these different options here. So right now, sticky header is on scroll up. So let's refresh and we'll scroll down and we'll scroll up. You see how that pops out? We're not at the top yet, but it'll pop out as you come back up. Okay, and then we can do always. And so that's gonna be your classic. Oh, I gotta refresh first. All right, so that's the classic sticky menu right there. Um, this one is the one that behaves similar to what Allo looks like. And then we can do always with reduce logo size. So um, our logo isn't really uh, much of a logo, so we'll see what that hap what happens when we do this. But maybe it'll just reduce the, the size of the text there. Yeah, and it actually is a little bit smaller. So you can see there, um, it's always in place and looks pretty good. But what if we want to have a sticky announcement bar and menu bar like True Classic Tees? So we can come back to our um, to our theme editor, and if we go to our uh, announcement bar settings, we can reset the CSS to make this sticky. Right, and if we save that and refresh, both the menu bar and the announcement bar are sticky, but as you can see, they're overlapping. So how do we handle that? If we come back to our theme editor again, uh, select our announcement bar and scroll to the bottom, there's actually some CSS we can add here. And so we're going to um, add this CSS code here, just this, these uh, couple lines. Um, and this pixel length uh, width will have to be uh, dependent on your store. So if you actually go to inspect, you can find out what the height of this of this element is. And so just uh, I've, I've right clicked on the actual announcement bar itself and you can come to the bottom and right there, that's you can see that it highlights the announcement bar and you can see that um, there is a, uh, a height of 38 with a border of one. So that ends up being 39. So what we can do is we can come back to our theme editor and actually make this a 39. So I'll save that and refresh. And there we go. So now we have both the announcement bar and the menu bar sticky. All right, so let's, uh, let's continue to make our way down. We've got um, sticky. So now we can, um, the next thing that's in more interesting to me would be where you want to put your logo. So it can be in the center or it can be on the left uh, because I haven't really put one in. Uh, actually, sorry, this is for mobile. So you can have it on the center or on the left, right? So that's just two different looks. Um, and then here, this next part is where uh, I think is actually quite interesting. So we can update the top padding and the bottom padding. So that's that extra space right here at the top and bottom. So if you want, you can actually reduce this. And what this will do is if, um, you know, sc mobile screens can sometimes have limited space. If you're making it sticky, sometimes you might, might want to keep some of that, uh, more of the screen to be used for navigation. And so you can actually change that padding there. For the announcement bar, the, the padding isn't available. You can actually see when we did the inspection here that uh, there's no padding, right? There's just uh, there's a border and then there's the element, which is 38. So if you can adjust your settings to kind of make it a little bit uh, more equal or you might want the menu bar to be a little bit larger, right? Because if this, if this looks too thin for you, you can, um, instead of making it zero, we can increase it a little bit just to make it uh, the menu bar 
not so small in comparison to the announcement bar. So there we have it. We've looked at a lot of different ways you can customize your menu bars and announcement bars. There's uh, adding buttons, changing colors, making them sticky. There's a whole bunch of things that you really can do. And what works best for your store uh, really does depend on how you've set up your brand in the field. But I hope you learned something today. Hope you learned that there's a lot of different features available just natively in the Dawn theme and a little bit of extra CSS that we can add to make both the announcement bar sticky or the menu bar sticky uh, or placing where the uh, where the menu bar is when it is, if, if both the announcement bar and the menu bar are sticky. So hope that helped and I'll see you in the next one.